issue of shares in installments and pro rata pro rata is allocating shares proportionately what does this mean now suppose a company makes an issue for 1 lakh shares the number of applications received or share applications are received for let's say 1 lakh 50000 shares the directors may go through the applications it's possible that they may reject some but it is also possible that they decide to allot the shares proportionately that means the relation here is that if you have applied for 1 lakh 50000 shares you will be allotted only 1 lakh shares so if you have allotted if you have actually applied for 150 shares you would be allotted 100 shares when this happens when there is a pro rata allotment that means you are allotted some shares but not all of the shares that you applied for you are allotted some shares but not all of the shares what happens is on the shares that you are not allotted the application money that you have paid up can be refunded by the company usually when shares are allotted on the same date allotment money also becomes due so the company instead of refunding the extra application money and then asking you to pay the allotment money the company may adjust the extra application money towards the allotment money which is due from you what would be the entries on receipt of application money bank account debit to share application with the amount received with whatever amount is received when shares are allotted share application account debit to share capital with what with this is application money into shares allotted for allotment money due the entry would be share allotment account debit to share capital with what with the allotment money per share into the number of shares allotted into the number of shares allotted allotment money into number of shares allotted now there could be extra application money which is going to be adjusted to the share allotment account so the entry in that case would be share application account debit to share allotment and if there is extra money there is still extra money then that could be taken to an account called calls in advance for calls in advance of course the company needs to pay an interest calls in advance this money will be utilized only when a call is made so extra application money has been adjusted share application account debit to share allotment has been adjusted against the allotment and to calls in advance if there is still extra money when call money becomes due the entry is share call account debit to share capital with what call money due into number of shares allotted when we receive the call money we receive bank account some amount may be lying in the calls in advance if it is lying that money is utilized so bank account is debited with only the balance amount which needs to be received calls in advance account debit to share call account the money lying in the calls in advance is transferred to the share call account <clears throat> let us pass entries with an example a company issued 10 lakh shares of 10 each payable as 5 on application 3 on allotment and 2 on first and final call applications were received for 15 lakh shares 
shares were allotted pro rata how to pass journal entries so first and foremost we receive money what would be the entry for receiving money bank account debit two we call it the share application account with the amount received what is the amount received we received applications for 15 lakh shares so it's 15 lakh shares into rupees 5 that would give us 75 lakhs first entry next all adjustment was made pro rata so let us allot shares and capitalize the share application money. Therefore, share application account debit. For capitalizing, we transfer it to share capital. But what is the amount here? We can allot only 10 lakh shares. So it's 10 lakh shares into application money being rupees 5. So that gives us 10 lakh into 5, 50 lakh. What is the allotment money due? On this date, now shares have been allotted here. Allotment money also becomes due. Let us quickly see what is the allotment money due and the entry for the same. Allotment money, share allotment account debit to share capital. What is the amount here? Share allotment account debit to share capital. Again, we are talking of 10 lakh shares. 3 on allotment, rupees 3, that would be 30 lakhs. Share allotment account debit to share capital, 30 lakhs. What is the extra application money that we have? We received 75 lakhs, but application money received was only 50 lakh, which means 25 lakhs is extra. Excess money received can be adjusted against share allotment. So let us do that and transfer from share application to share allotment. What would be the entry? Share application account debit to share allotment share application account debit to share allotment with what the extra money that i have that is 75 lakhs minus 50 lakhs 25 lakhs what is the money i'll receive since 25 lakhs has already been received it was received along with application only 5 lakh needs to be received. Therefore, bank account debit to share allotment 5 lakhs. Let us just check. Share application was credited with 75 lakhs. Share application has been debited with 50 lakh and again debited with 25 lakh. So, share application account is closed. Look at the share allotment account. 30 lakh is debited. Allotment credited for 25 lakh, credited for 5 lakh, allotment account is also closed. When the final call money becomes due, what is the entry? Share final call account debit, share first and final call account debit to share capital. What is the amount here? 2 into 10 lakh shares or 20 lakhs. There was no call in advance. So this entire amount needs to be received. Assuming it is received, the entry is bank account debit to share first and final call. That is 20 lakhs. This would be the scheme of entries.
let us try and answer this question. A company invited applications for subscription of 5,000 shares. The applications were received for 6,000 shares. The shares were allotted on pro rata basis. If Sham applied for 180 shares, how many shares would be allotted to him? A. 180, B. 200, C. 150, D. 175. So basically, if you have applied for 6,000 shares, you get allotted 5,000 shares. So if you had applied for 180 shares, you would get allotted 5,000 by 6,000 into 180. One fifty shares. Therefore, the correct answer should be one fifty.